The mountains overlooking the ancient city of Kyoto are home to some remarkable monkeys, Japanese macaques. These wise old primates can live for more than 30 years. Young macaques use play to expend their excess energy, as well as build and strengthen muscles. As most animals reach adulthood, they stop participating in play. But this particular troop demonstrates an exception to the rule. The monkeys here continue to play an unusual game all their lives. They play with stones. And each member of the troop has its own preferred method. Some are rollers. Others are grinders. And there are the hoarders. Exactly why they do it has remained a mystery. But one man thinks he's finally cracked it. Professor Michael Huffman has been studying these monkeys for the last 40 years. In young monkeys, their motor neural development is still very much taking place. They, they're very awkward at everything they do. So by handling stones, it probably helps them to develop these neural pathways that allow them to behave in a more precise manner. So why do the adults who have learned how to manipulate objects continue to play with stones. This is very unique in the animal kingdom for a behavior, a play behavior to be exhibited by adults. And what's even more interesting is that they continue to practice it into their old age. Mike believes that the older macaques are giving their brains a similar workout, but for different reasons. Clinical studies have shown that humans who continue to play board games, musical instruments, just keep active in older age, they're less likely to develop dementia than those that don't. And if we transfer that to the Japanese macaque, the stone handling Japanese macaque, and the idea that it keeps their brains healthy, perhaps it gives the elderly that edge that allows them to maneuver throughout their environment safely, and perhaps that extends in some way their longevity. Like humans, macaques can become forgetful in their senior years, and they begin to lose their mental agility. This cognitive dysfunction is similar to dementia or Alzheimer's disease. It's possible that playing through stone handling is actually slowing down this aging process, which shines an interesting light on people who continue to play bridge or do crosswords well into their senior years. Part of the reason is said to be that those motor neural connections are actually being regenerated. New pathways are being generated, which allows the monkey to kind of build back up its brain's power. So for these Japanese macaques, this unusual form of play serves a dual purpose. For the youngsters, it's a way of learning and developing new motor skills. Well, for the adults, it's all about exercising their brains to keep them mentally young and healthy.